Jailbreak's been out for seven years now, and over the years of its release, there have been multiple cars, 103 according to the Jailbreak wiki, some better than others for grinding. In this video, I'll be going over all those vehicles for all you players who need to get your money. This list will include non-limited and limited vehicles. Subscribe if you enjoy. Starting off with the Javelin, this car is based on the Koenigsegg Jesko. It was released in the 2022 5 Days 5 Vehicles event, a very respected vehicle by the community. If you care about looks, this vehicle has it. If you care about speed, this vehicle also has it, going at around a top speed of 388 miles per hour, according to the Jailbreak Wiki. Will you reach that on the Jailbreak map? Definitely not. With some skill, you could probably go above 300 miles per hour. Some flaws, its acceleration is okay at best. For a non-electric vehicle, I can't be too harsh on it. I just wish it were a tiny bit faster. And the only other thing I could think of would be accessibility. It is pretty tough to get, but the car itself is worth it. Second on the list is a car that went limited very recently, the car- if you bought this during the 5 days it was purchasable, great, you have an amazing car to use while grinding. It's based on the Pagani Sonda HP, our first ever Pagani in jailbreak. This vehicle has a top speed of around 320 miles per hour according to the jailbreak wiki, but again, you won't reach that on the map, you'll probably cap it around 280. Very good car and I was happy it got added to the game. Next up, we've got the Proto and Roadster. I put these two in one category because of their similarities. They're practically the same vehicle statistically. The Proto is based on the Porsche Mission R, and the Roadster is obviously the Tesla Roadster. If you're a beginner, go for the Roadster. If you're an experienced trader, go for the Proto. According to the Jailbreak Wiki, the top speed of the Roadster is 216 miles per hour, while the Proto is 209. They do lack top speed, but both have amazing acceleration, making up for it. Visually speaking, the Proto is obviously a better looking vehicle, and in my opinion, more pleasant to drive around with. Next on the list, we've got another fairly new vehicle that got added about two months ago, the Successor. A lot of people thought it was a Ferrari when it first released because of the back, but it's actually based on the Ford GT. It is a non-limited vehicle, costing $649,000. I think this is a far more bang for your buck compared to the Roadster. It looks better, has a higher top speed at around 264 miles per hour. True, its acceleration isn't as good as the Roadster, but it's quite close. It's definitely a car worth buying for grinding. Now we're getting into all the big boys. Pause. Here we have the Eclair based on the Bugatti Chiron. This vehicle went through a lot these past months, getting a revamp that was hated by basically the entire community to now. I feel like this car has always been a good car for grinding. It did get a speed buff now, letting it go over 300 miles per hour, but instead of 500k, it's now 600k. Next, we have the Concept. This vehicle, still to this day, is the most expensive to actually purchase in-game, costing $2.5 million. Is this beginner-friendly? Absolutely not. Although, for the price, you get a futuristic-looking vehicle with a custom engine noise, a trail, and most importantly, it could seat up to four people, which is great if you have a squad. The grind to the concept is tough, but once you get it, it's like a milestone. But yeah, also, it has a top speed of 313 miles per hour, great acceleration and handling. Before we get to the final vehicle, make sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new. It's free, and you can always change your mind later. Finally, the best vehicle for grinding in jailbreak is the Volt Bike. Until Bedemo adds a monstrosity of a vehicle, this will stay on top of the list. You get this vehicle, and you're unstoppable. You can zoom across the entire map, cops have a very hard time catching up to you, and you can go through tight spaces, all for the price of 1 million. Now, it does have some bad things about it. For example, you could argue that it doesn't look the best, and how it only seats one person, but this is mainly meant to get you from point A to point B the fastest way possible. 
The biggest flaw, in my opinion, is when you get pin maneuvered, which is very unlikely because of how slim this vehicle is. If you do, it takes a while for your tires, I guess, to come back up, but that's just me being picky. Some honorable mentions, the Blackhawk, Drone, Bayonet, and the Little Bird. Those were all the vehicles I'd consider best to use while grinding in Jailbreak. Let me know in the comments what you think of this list, and if there are other vehicles you have in mind that deserve to be a part of it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did or found this useful, make sure to subscribe, like the video. Let's try to hit 300 likes. See you guys in the next one.